Hi, this is going to be a short video about getting started with your value drawing. Um, it can seem scary to start at first. I've got this blank piece of paper and something to draw. And uh, yeah, how do I get started? So the first thing you want to do is look for a minute um, and think about how what you want to include in your drawing and how you're going to make it the right size so that it fits on the paper well. So uh, I want to make sure that I'm including obviously the egg in the bowl, but I also want to include the cast shadow from both of them. So when I go over here to my paper, I don't want to place my subject matter so far over here to the left that there's no room for the cast shadow. Um, the still life is pretty simple. It's just the bowl and the egg and the cast shadows. Um, and I'll include the table line behind them, even though I may adjust it like artists take artistic license, so to speak, and make it in a slightly different place, but I'll, I want to include that too. Um, so it's not too hard to figure out how to fit this on a page. Um, looking at my sketchbook, um, you know, I'm probably going to put that egg thing, the egg somewhere here, then I'll have room for the bowl somewhere here, and then I'll have room for the cast shadow about here. So you want to make some observations just about starting. Before I begin, I'm just thinking about Look, what's the lowest point? The egg, if I take, and everybody needs to use a ruler to check these things. The egg is the lowest point, and just look how close the bowl is above it, but not by a lot. So the egg is here, and the bowl is above it. I'm noticing that the egg and the bowl overlap. How much of the egg is inside of the area of the bowl? Like a little less than half, right? So like a little less than half the egg is like overlapped in front of the bowl. About two thirds is off the back here. Um, so that's another observation. How far over into the bowl shape will the egg go? And how far behind it, you know, after it does it stick out? And so the ruler that you have is gonna be a huge help in making those decisions. This whole beginning part is about putting a puzzle together. It's, it's not really being creative. It's just putting a puzzle together, making adjustments, being prepared to erase as much as you draw. So the first thing I got to think about is what do I want to include and how big do I want to make it on the page using my straight edge as a guide. So that's the first step. 